Hello everybody, welcome to the most fun game number 20, 60 TV up against Nurgle. Um, so good job I didn't sack those players that I was thinking about sacking. Let's see what, he's Cyclops. He's only got 10 players, alright, so it's going to be a 20 TV advantage then. He's got a Beast, he's got a Claw Palm. He's got a Garder, he's got a Claw Mighty Blow Strength Warrior. Tackle, Blodge Guard. But he's only got 11 players. What's his record? 17-5-9. No, that's a pretty decent record with Nurgle. Hopefully I just win the toss and slaughter him. Um, obviously get fouls every turn with a man advantage. I'm not going to spend any money on this. Because um, why the fuck should I? <laughs> oh dear, Flash. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, receiving here would be amazing. <laughs> oh, Flash. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't 30 difference here. If it had been 10 more K, he would have bought the Wiz. Well, he would have scummed the Wiz, wouldn't he? He might get something here, like a babe or something. He's only got 11 players. Maybe get a reserve or something. I don't know. Reserve Merc Pest. I guess he could get. <laughs> He's got a bribe. What an idiot. Wow. I, well, okay. I think that's I think that's a crazy decision to buy a bribe. Because a bribe it only works when things go well, doesn't it? He's got 11 players. If things, if things go well, yeah. I think the babe's a better choice than a bribe. Definitely. Block Rotter has a niggle. Oh, thank you very much, VIP Adonicalis. Yeah, receiving here would be amazing. Receiving here, but even if you kick, you get the double LOS. So it's um. <laughs> I can't believe that, Pedro. <laughs> right. The guy's got a winning record with Nurgle, so he isn't he isn't terrible. No one's gonna be winning 4-0 unless he has his entire team. Which, you know, is a possibility. He could just make four removals, turn one. And then he's gonna get a draw at least, isn't he? <laughs> I don't care I don't care if he was the best coach in the world, which he isn't. He used to admit that he wasn't, I don't know if he still does. But um, even if he was the best coach in the world, yeah, he, he ain't. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna outplay another bash, t another bash team and win four 0 are you? You know. He's a badass. No bash team outplays another bash team and wins four 0 If if you do win four 0 it's because you kill their entire team, or they are absolutely terrible. So I guess you could beat beat them by outplaying them four 0 but they would have to be really. Really, really fucking bad at Blood Bowl to lose 4 0. Okay, so all positionals on the pitch wrestlers, blockers, dirty player, guarders. Maybe it's not worth risking that guard. Maybe I put hang the Pestagore out there to dry. Put a killer either side. He's probably going to block in the middle with him. Which makes me want to go... There. There. Most people go down the right side, don't they? I think most people go, naturally go down the right side. And then he'll want to pick on him probably as well. So maybe go there. Oh man... Claw pom, claw mighty blow. He might just, he might just bang on us. It could happen. Thank you very much, Muldripster. You can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> oh man.
I did lose 4-0 against Kemri one time, but that was because I ended the pitch with I ended the match without two players on the pitch. Um and you know, and and, and if you try to win <laughs> in those situations you just get banged harder, don't you? Hello, Amadon. Forty nine wins in a row with Nurgle, imagine that. I'd settle for equaling your record, Muldripster. Almost on for it, 16-2-1. Isn't that crazy? 16-2-1 is almost on a par with Ducky and Muldripster's records, isn't it? And now, they're not shit anymore. So, But the thing is, the, pe the people the people I'm playing aren't shit. That, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, sure, my team's a lot better than it was at 1000 TV. But now, the worst player in the world can just make four removals turn one and get a draw. I mean, you know, you don't need to be, you don't need to be a genius to block block with claw palm and then pile on. <laughs> you know, that's not really anyone can do that. So that that's the bad thing about high TV. And with bash, if you get banged on like that, you just lose, don't you? Or or draw, draw or lose. That's the thing. Whereas if you've got if you've got Skaven, they can do that to you, like I did against Sam Davies. Almost pitch cleared in first half, um, and then second half, you know, then then he one turned, and then second half he was back up because he had reserves. Chaos recovered, and he won. Yes, VIP scroll dude, I did indeed take Claw. What what do you recommend that I would have taken on him instead? Out of interest. Because I couldn't think of anything. Like, I just couldn't think of anything. Maybe he's kick, I guess. I guess I could have given him kick. Um, but then he couldn't go on the line on defense. Um, tackle. Yeah, you reckon tackle? Do you reckon tackle? Do you reckon tackle's good for a movement five, strength three guy? In like when you consider nearly every single game on ladder is against Bash. Maybe maybe it would have been a good idea. I'm not saying it's wrong. Yeah, I guess I guess it wouldn't be bad. Yeah, it'd be better than not having it, wouldn't it? Yeah, if I played like Lupax Dark Elves. With like fucking seven blodge, then yeah, I guess. I guess even though he's, he hasn't got mighty blow or anything, he might get mo some knockdowns or whatever. Maybe. I imagine he gets sacked before the playoffs or, or die. You know, chances are he'll just fucking die. Getting his three Ds in, he's not. He's not a. Uh, I've got to click on Omidon, what Amadon's done here. Yeah, Weeping Dagger, yeah. Yeah, it's true. They've also changed, um, they've also changed panning onto Juggernaut on Fumble. <laughs> that dog picture's amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that's the thing. I thought he's going to die soon. One in three times he'll die when Kaz. Yep, that is true. All right, his record. It was his record that you were looking at. Let me have a look. I thought you were like you were like look weeping daggers and it's just stupid. Ninety six five five. That's a good record, isn't it? But then. It's in it's in ranked, isn't it? So, so that tells you everything you need to know. Uh, that's why I say ranked is worthless, because because you can get records like ninety six five five. He would not have that record in black box, would he? It's just it's just a fact. There's no way he would have that record in black box. Yeah, he went for him because he wouldn't risk the um, wouldn't risk the ugliness role, would he? So he's 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 done the right thing so far. 
Got him out in front to take the hit, or him out in front to take the hit. I think I just want to be up men, so I'm going to blitz this guy. As much as obviously hitting a... Oh, this would this would stand the blitz him. No, he's got to stand firm. So yeah, I think I just blitz him to get the um, the claw hit. Obviously not pile on. Hmm, he could go around and blitz him now. Then I guess. But then there's a the risk of not getting the getting the both down, isn't there? There's the both down risk. Oh, is he going to foul with him? This seems mad to re two GFIs. Lucky bastard. Wow, oh, he's fouling. What an idiot. Not punished. <gasps> wow. Well, okay, I was, I was praising him up all turn then. And then he just does something dumb as fuck. He's just going for a foul. Worthless foul when he's only got he's got eleven players. He goes to foul literally the worst player on the pitch. <laughs> I'm shocked. Absolutely shocked that he would make that play. It's hard to even call it a play, it was that bad. Not punished, but also not rewarded. Yeah, at least there is that. Yeah, that's true. That should have been a stud and a send-off if ever, if ever I've seen it. I mean, to, look, to be fair, you could argue that because he's only got 11 players and I've got 14, he should drop. But come on, man, that's just... Like, for the drive, I guess the odds are in his favour for the drive with four assists. If Squirrel Dude's got his, um, got his maths machine out... That might it might have been a good drive for the might have been a good foul for the drive. There, oh, there you go, there you go, squirrel dude. Um, Danke. So I guess you could think that he he could think it was worth it, maybe rolling the dice if he thinks he's got a disadvantage in this game. But I mean, he hasn't. In terms of players, his players are better than mine because I've got three reserves, haven't I? I've got 120 on the bench. So although I've got eight, although I've got twenty more TV than him, he's got a hundred more on the pitch, which is essentially the beast of Nurgle instead of a rotter. But I would rather have a rotter than a beast. So interesting. Yeah, exactly, Pedro Jack. But you know that could be that he thinks that he's got to get lucky. You know, no, he didn't have dirty player. No, he's got a dirty player, but he didn't foul with the dirty player one. Which is why it's incredulous, yeah, in, in, incredulous to do it with, without, with the fact that he's got a dirty player. To do it without the dirty player is just crazy, isn't it? It's absolutely crazy. I think, anyway. The Claw Palm is quite a long way away after GFI. Oh, he's got a GFI, anyway, he's not even doing it with it. Yeah. Makes me wonder if he's watching the stream because he he changed when I told him when I said taking a bribe was terribly changed. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give him any hit any hints here. Uh oh. Get fouled on, cunt. Like, you know, he knows that I've got a claw palm, so he knows that he might get to foul him at some point. And yet he just fouled him. But I guess it wasn't with a dirty player, but still, he's only got ten guys. He doesn't have a bribe, no. No, he doesn't have a bribe. He decided against it when I said it would be shit. So I don't know if he was listening to the stream, so I'm going to try and not give him any, any advice. Man, Nurgle vs Nurgle, you can't have the skills on, can you? It's fucking awful. 
This is going to take all of my attention to play this game. Oh yeah, if he had a bribe, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it was a terrible foul. I would say it was a bit of a reckless foul if he had a bribe, rather than a terrible one. <laughs> rather than a com rather than be completely aghast at a completely horrifically terrible um, foul, I would have just said it was a bad one. Like, maybe he didn't look at my record and he think I'll just concede if he makes some fouls, but... Right. This guy doesn't have claws, so he's okay to blitz from there. Ah, oh, but he does have guard. So, one, two, three. He goes in there, he blitzes him. I've just got nobody to assist the foul. <laughs> Because everyone's fucking dead. Like, I can't get these guys claw pumped, can I? I'm probably not gonna make the. I'm probably not gonna break AV with one assist. But I guess I have to fucking try. Think. Obvious piling on is obvious. Oh, lucky cunt. Some people there. Eh? Don't know how lucky they are. His dirty player needs to get manned up by a Nurgle warrior. And. Just getting for the one one assist foul, as bad as it is. Right, not not a bad turn. I've turned off chat now, by the way, because I've got to try to got to try to think this game. Hard from the, I'm, I can see why he didn't stand firm there, so that you know to discourage the piling on. But he knew that I could stand up my guys, you know, to stop him getting a decent foul in. Now I can get a better foul on the Nurgle Warrior next turn, depending on where he goes and what he does. I don't get to choose, but I would have chosen to fend. So that was that was pretty good, the fend there, wasn't it? Otherwise, he'd have got guarding on the on the pest to go block there. Strength 5 claw is a bit hard to deal with, isn't it? Foul appearance here would be great, wouldn't it? No. Well, push is still good. Greeds it. The dirtiest of dirty dingoes. Of course, he's rewarded. Why not?
He might struggle to protect the ball here though, mightn't he? With his with his Lupac like love of murder kill. Man, one dice pal. What a cunt, eh? One dice is a block claw guy. Where'd the ball go, though? Pretty great turn for him, to be fair. Like you know, in terms of making a KO and a KO and a stun, but he's he's lost the ball, hasn't he? Um, well, he's got dodge on the ball carrier, so he hasn't lost the ball necessarily. Mm -hmm. But I hope he loses the ball. Got another guard. I wish the, I wish this guy hadn't piled on, or if he had guard instead, it would have been better, wouldn't it? I guess hitting the ball didn't do a whole lot actually. So maybe I just blitz him or him with a claw palm. Just maybe make a claw palm blitz. Lots. I don't want to just one dice with him. I could blitz him, then foul him with all these assists. That's probably, sadly, as dumb as it fucking is, that's probably the best play. Alright, well, thank you for the follow. That was a pretty great, great AV break, wasn't it? Just stand up these guys. It's sad when <laughs> when knocking the ball down isn't as good as just making a randor blitz. Fucking hell man. Fuck's sake! I make a great foul, not rewarded. Maybe I should have hit the ball, eh? I just thought if I hit the ball, it just doesn't even do anything. I've got no recovery. Who cares if he loses the ball this turn? It, you know, I, I think it was better what I did, to be honest.
Oh my god, I was <laughs> muted. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. <sighs> fucking hell. I'm <laughs> muted. Right, I'm muted. I just, I just did a lot of talking that. Right. I had a cheeky look at chat then. And some people were saying, why didn't you um, why didn't you hit the, hit the ball there and stuff? And the reason was, I just thought, this guy is not really that good. And I'll get more chances on the ball. The, the thing that I'm scared about is this guy tearing my team to shreds. I got a plus three foul with dirty player. And I got fucked on. Which is just ridiculous, you know? <sighs> He's probably just going to make a Kaz here. I'm just pissing me off because I think the only way this guy can win is if is if the claw pommer goes goes it, you know? If he if he just goes ham with the claw pommer, tears my team to shreds, that's how he can win. You know? And that It just pisses me off. I got plus three foul with dirty player on him there. Passed up a hit on the ball just so I can foul his piling on her. Because I think it's the only way he can possibly do anything against me. And then next turn he makes a Kaz. Ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. Also, this guy would have got a Claw Mighty Blow hit as well. And sure, you can say that, you know, if the ball's on the ground, he might have cared about the ball. And he might have not blitzed with him. He might have blitzed with somebody else or whatever. But, um... I just think the fact that he didn't care about ball protection for that turn means he'll probably do it in a later turn as well. And he'll get another chance to get the ball. Whereas I might not have got another chance to um, get such good fouls on his ball, on his guy, which is, looks to be true. <sighs> Pretty hard to take, isn't it? Pretty just hard to take. They're just dumb shit like this. Could double G if I had to base the ball. <laughs> that would really put that would really fucking make it hard for a moment when all he'll have to do is make a fucking block. Um He's got guard anyway. Well he's strength five too. He can just bang him down. I guess him tagging him isn't the isn't the end of the world. Plus two foul then. Yeah, of course. Why not, eh? Why the fuck not? Of course, of course. I knew I should have just piled on there. Oh dear me.
I can't believe that I I actually went. I went for the fight rather than the ball. And he's won the fight. That's just stupid. That's just fucking stupid. Really fucking stupid. That he's hammered me in the fighting. When I have not even tried to stop him scoring. Just so I could win the fight. And have been fucking battered in the fight. That's pretty fucking annoying, isn't it? Just stupid. Yeah, another one dice power, mate. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you just one dice power him? Maybe I could blitz him. Give me strength five. It's on a blitz, it's a 1D. And then escape. Maybe GFI with him. 2D blitz him and then escape. Yeah. I guess that's that's my best bet. Even though I could have hit the ball, obviously, kind of easily. Oh, fuck me. I double won the ugly! Oh my god. And then fail the tentacles, of course. I hope this guy dies in real life. Wow. And I guess I just lie down for the end of the half now then. Lie down for the rest of the half. half. Hope that I don't take perms. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to concede. I mean, I should be able to get a draw out of this. Even if these don't come back, I've still got 10 players for the second half. He might have 10. But obviously he's going to make some more cards before then, because why wouldn't he? I'm not actually out of concessions, Thomas Griff. I've got one left, but I'm not going to use it.
Yeah, you're allowed five and it's on the sixth you're banned. Maybe I should have gone for the ball here, I mean, and I mean, look, I don't know, if I'd gone for the ball, I'm about, what, 80% to get him down, and, um, you know, maybe that's the right play, if I get the ball down. What you want to do against Clawpom is make them focus on the ball, so they can't just tee off on you, but then, look, on another day, I'll make that foul, and Kaz is Clawpommer, and then, I reckon I win easily then, but instead... Just everything went wrong. Nothing's been perma injured, but you know, one player, and he still gives me a four plus three plus to hit the ball. Like, how can somebody even be that bad? Or maybe even better than that? No. 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 How can how can some like this is what fucking pisses me off about blood ball? To be honest. I guess it doesn't matter. If I go there, if I hit him near the sideline, it might go in the crowd, make it harder for him. Oh man. Fucking went in the wrong square. Should have gone here. I've got it. I've got a GFI to here now. Maybe he should have come round for the recovery and pass, but then the things in me then I couldn't. Do I just make the extra GFI? Then I could have a player there and a player there. Oh, yeah. oh God. Got a bit of time, haven't I? To oh. GFI to the sideline to make the potential ball. Yeah, I'm going to GFI to the sideline. Banged on. Go fuck yourself. Cunt. Right. <laughs> no, and when I say that, I, I mean deep cut. There are, no, I don't. I mean Cyclops the coach, obviously. <laughs> because I'm salty about being so fucking unlucky Jesus this game. But luckily, luckily for me, his unbelievable bad play was punished. Um, do I stand these guys up? Because they might as well. I guess so. And same with standing him up, just because he um, he occupies the beast doesn't he? it means he can't activate the beast to bring in the beast to base the ball or anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I couldn't toss it because I blitzed, yeah.
<laughs> it's the hope that kills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he might be seven years old, true. Well, certainly higher TV spawn of Cthulhu, they're the best at fighting, which is what most people care about. If he does, though, Maraz Kadu, then the ball could go anywhere. If if he surfs me, it's it's kind of okay because the ball could come out of here. Push not good enough. Fuck you! <laughs> Brilliant positioning there. I mean, sure, he was it was him blitzing the wrong guy as well, but still, it was pretty nice, wasn't it? Um, he's strength five, so it's just dodges, isn't it? There's no, there's no way I can try to block anybody here. Oh man, this should be a pro tips. If I score here, this should be this should be a pro tips video in itself of just what fucking not to do. Holy shit! But that's, I said earlier. See, that's why I didn't go for the ball earlier. You know. That's why I didn't go for the ball earlier, because I thought he's bad enough that he'll give me another shot at the ball, and that's exactly what he did. GFI's here, don't really help him. Okay, good. He should have moved the beast man up, shouldn't he? He, ca he can't catch me. Right, how, where can he go? He can only base. No. If I make two GFIs, you can only base me. That's correct. Right, hooray for GFIs then, eh? I'd really love to blitz him, but I guess it ain't gonna happen. One, two, three, four, five. He could go there and he could go there. To make it really unlikely to get me. I think I've got to make these GFIs. Because all he can do is base. Got I had to make one anyway to get in scoring range. This is the hard this is the horrible one, because if I roll a one on it, it fucking really sucks, doesn't it? Good. So all he can do is base, whether I make this dodge or not. Do I claw this guy? He, he could blitz him, couldn't he? Three, four, five. Need an assist to be able to blitz him. I'd rather stay on the ground. He's way, he's way away, so to be fair, the, these blocks are more about removing a receiving threat than adding a chance. He can't, he can't do anything. Right? So I don't even need to, he can't hit me. He can't chain. Enough. I'm do this one first, don't I? Because he actually can chain the thing, but he can't chain the other one. Save the um, save the reroll for the dodge. <laughs> no worries, movement fall. So all he literally all he can do is base. And he's still got to make two GFIs without a reroll to do that. <laughs> yeah, he's down four of our players. It's true. I'm, I'm down four, but he's down two, to be fair. You know, so he has only got nine of his own. Something that Lupat never mentions, I've noticed. When he's got seven players, he's like, I'm down four guys. Well, yeah, I'm down four guys, but he is down two as well. Oh, man, he made them. He made his two Shawnees. Dirty Dingo. 
Yeah, one in nine. Eight times out of nine score on his drive. That's crazy, isn't it? That's just fucking crazy. After all that's happened. So yeah, that's why I didn't go for the ball earlier. Because I I just felt a chance would come later. <laughs> and and that and I thought I had to win the fight and I ended up losing the fight. Two Nurgle Warriors out. Three Nurgle Warriors out. All the good ones. The only one left is the shit Nurgle Warrior. Garda badly hurt. Garda knocked out. Pommer knocked out. Crazy. I can't make a one dice blitz um, bleeding hippie because he's strength five. <laughs> Making a minus two D blitz might be better. I don't know. No, probably not because the put the bolt down isn't good enough. Yeah, that is the only bad thing. Yeah, don't the Kellis. Yeah, only one shot of the kills. His kills come back in a three plus. Mine come back in a four plus. But, I mean, got the three reserves, so... At worst, it's ten men for the second half. Do I even make this 2DB? I could 2DB him. And then go there and block him. But, no, it's it's not worth the risk of using the reroll. Fuck you. <sighs> well, he seems a nice chap anyway. Maybe I shouldn't have said fuck you when I was like, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, the bo the both down. That was the thing. If he didn't have both, if he didn't have block, it'd have been better to minus two D, and wouldn't it? Pretty sure. He'd plan to not score for KO rolls. So he's made his two. Claw on my back. Still got 11. Miraculously, he's at 11 versus 11 at half time. I mean, and he's taken out my two best players. No. Well, yeah, arguably, the two guarders. Two of my best players are taken out. And he's still got his full 11. That's crazy. He was a World Cup qualifier, this guy, really. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Kurgol, he played really badly. He played really, 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 really badly. For two KOs, yeah, maybe he made six KOs. If it was the other way around, if it was the other way around, and I, I had, um, you know, cast this guy, and this guy had been sent off, and these two were KO'd, then me not scoring, like, his two, if his two claw guys were KO'd, this guy was cast, and this guy was sent off, then me not scoring would make sense, you know? M maybe, maybe. To protect my team, because I've got an amazing record, and I don't want my team to die. But for him, just in a run randomly, it was crazy to even consider that. Yeah, and he's got eleven men, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Crazy. I don't know what the fuck is in the tip jar, to be honest. Um Right, I can't I can't blitz anyone, can I? Maybe he blitzes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now pseudo Nim said I was wasting my um my plus strength by uh By going with um, 
the strength for ball carrier, but now he could be worth his weight in goals because it's seen as I'm probably not going to be able to protect the ball. Again, you know, well, it's 11 versus 11, but my team's a lot worse than his. We'll see. Sixteen two one is the record. Masterful. Right. Got him. Got the power against the Dodger. Come on, Claw. Get him with the Claw. No. Can't make it three. Hope I don't get a boat down. Got him. Injury. Get banged on. Yes, and that's a Kaz to get him up to um up to claw. He'd already got a Kaz. Alright, he's on fifty five. Ignore that then. Okay, so now he can maybe hit that block guy, but he ain't going to hit uh, anyone better than him. Three D with him, excellent. It's just what I needed. Fantastic. Rolling. <laughs> he gets the KO. He gets the removal anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the rotters on this team, isn't it? Holy shit. No re-roll in the pickup. Wow. Fra Fagos never fails a pickup, does he? It's awesome. Right, there you go. He's down to nine now. It's alright, isn't it? Even though he's he's down. Well, this one's this is a decent player. He's obviously shit. So I'm, I'm still down more on quality of players. But in actual numbers, he's down. Oh man, I got excited then when I saw the ball down because I thought it was the beast for some reason. Oh, interesting. He didn't greet it. I guess I don't have any guard, so... He's just going to man's me. Next season, the local team will be a 14 rotter start. I actually think the um, more rotters is a better start, to be honest, because f they're, they're just so much better value than Nurgle Warriors and Pestigors at rookie, rookie level, aren't they? It's funny that on offense he was greeting everything, yet on defense, where his re rolls are less precious. Oh, I don't know, he's he's under less stress to re-roll things on, on defence than offence, aren't you? Like, you know, for example, that that dodge that I made to score, had it been my offence, I had to re-roll it. I had to be able to re-roll it, didn't I? You've got to be able to re-roll certain things on defence, on offence, whereas on defence you usually don't need to. Jesus fuck yeah, he's going to manage me, because why not? But still, he is down at nine, isn't he? I've still got the strength four guy. So. I just don't have any guard. That's that's the killer, isn't it? Not having any guard at all. 
<laughs> no, down another player. That is the thing, having no guard whatsoever. Like, he could just block him as shit as it is. I'd rather blitz him, though, wouldn't I? How do I do it, though? He could blitz him. And then he could block him. And then he could block him. That's maybe the best bet. He could block him. But it would just be a... He hasn't, can't get the assists. Oh, can he? Has he got guard? No. So he blocks him. Do that first. Oh, great. <laughs> um, okay. So now the ball's unprotected. Oh, and there's no way around here anyway. Right, that was that was just dumb. There was no way around there whatsoever. So he blitzes him. Which means ball-wise... Oh, injury. Get fucked on. I could go in there. He could complete the cage. He could go in there. He could then... One dice him. No, he could then two dice him. But then he'd be basing him without any any oh no he could just he could he could just stand up to get the assist. Okay, got the eye cage. Wow, that was really dumb of him. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Now you haven't got an assist for your claw, claw pommer. He either gets hit by mighty blow, claw mighty blow. At least, I guess, at least he occupies somebody for this turn. He is a rookie rotter. If anyone wants to die, it's him. So I guess that's okay. And then next turn, try to. He actually made some removals now. So. Should be able to push forward next turn. Yeah, I wasn't hitting with. I was just hitting with a with a just a block Nurgle warrior. So, if he if he doesn't stand firm, he stands back up and he he claw palms my guy. If he doesn't stand firm, he stands up, gets claw palmed, and doesn't and has to one dice with his claw palmer. I think it was a very bad stand firm. I was just gonna make two GFIs to blitz with a claw. Get the knockdown. He's got some interesting ideas, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's just a one die. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right, Eric Beheimer. Yeah, you're right. He's still just going to make... Oh, no, he's made two GFIs to make it a two die instead of just not stand firming.
get the club on him though, don't I? He's got guard. He doesn't. He's assisting. He just needs to block him and then it's a 2D. Oh, you little car. Oh, that's okay. He injured himself. Good. Just He just needs to stand up. Alright. He might as well stand up. Like, I could block this guy with Mighty Blow and then Blitz him. But I'd need so many assists on him. But I think Blitzing here is fine. Read it. No question. Get the beast on the cage and everything. He can go up five. And he can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He'd have to GFI. But then I guess I don't need anybody over there anyway. Now that I greeted that I've gotta I've gotta get moving towards Towards the end zone, don't I? That's two GFIs. What the fuck is this shit? Should I should have stood here, shouldn't I? I don't know why I stood there. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I don't know why I just stood in the wrong place. And then he could have made the two GFIs to cover there. <sighs> Why did I just stand in the wrong place? Nobody knows. Just get further away from everybody, I thought. I can't take risks, can I? Now I'll make the GFIs. Never fail them, I just fail them, don't I? Fuck it. Alright, good. And he takes a hit, because he's a rookie. He stands there and doesn't roll a one. <laughs> Not pleasing some people. Um, Good morning, you know, Aaron. <laughs> Jeffrey. A really horny god. I think like a beast man head is the best one. What's this? <laughs> it's got a claw. I've got a claw on one of my hands. <laughs> Yeah, it just looks like a horny goat, I think, rather than a beast man. And there's a lot of, like, dead space, isn't there? I think it wants to fill up the whole space with, like, 
and I think Stay claw tastic for five. Oh man. Yeah, sorry Flash, I shouldn't have done that. I can just claw palm his claw palmer. <laughs> no, obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on the ball. At least a little bit now. I mean I just have to blitz the beast. There's no two ways about it. Nice cut stand for him. Fair play. Maybe I just GFI twice. Just loop pack it. Alright. Game's won. Pot kettle. No, I don't think he understands what I mean. I mean, <laughs> I knew I'd beat you. <laughs> no, all things being equal, I beat him, don't I? And then the, the way he beats me or pisses me off is by killing all my players. And, you know, I did everything I could to deal with his claw bomber for 12 turns. And he hasn't been dealt with, which is pretty annoying, isn't it? When you when your whole game plan is deal with one player, pass up hits on the ball just to deal with one player, and you don't deal with him, it's pretty hard to be happy, isn't it? But yeah, two nil up is good. Fair enough, won the game. Do you know what? I'm gonna go back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two nil ups just it's game over though, isn't it? That's the thing. <laughs> God, that face. It's even better. It's got that's my face dot com in the corner. That's the funniest thing about it. I think. Yeah, soft concession after giving the win, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, against against eight players as well. But all I can all that can happen from this point forward is his claw palmer kills my best players. Or his strength five claw mighty blow that I can barely deal with kills my players because I've got no guard. So I can't even I can barely two dice his strength five guy. It's almost impossible to strength to two dice his strength five guy. So, badly, double badly hurt on a rotter, unbelievable, Jeff. Yeah. It's only turn 12, but he's not scoring twice, is he? He's not going to score, then turn me over and score again. No chance of that.
It's pretty amazing that. I love it whenever a rotter survives. It's it's great. Every every other player in Blood Bowl, you're like, fuck's sake, he died. And with a rotter, you just expect them to die, and you're like, wow, he didn't die. Unbelievable, Joe. <laughs> Get banged on! Didn't even break his armor. Holy shit. <laughs> he's just safe in the bedroom as he's in the field. <laughs> oh man. Congrats, Inarian. Yep. That's two Orlenses. I mean, I haven't played very many, if any, competent coaches with this Nurgle team. Um, like, the loss was was against Wood Elves, basically, all, like, the worst possible matchup, probably, Wood Elves in the rain, who got a blitz. <laughs> right. Was that this team or another team? It was Woodells in the rain, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure I lost against Woodells in the rain, and I still nearly it was still I still nearly won it. I had chances to score in both halves against them. So yeah, I think a lot of it's just who you play. Yeah, exactly, I don't like how it's here. <laughs> yeah, that is true, Aurelensis. Yeah, it's it's just it mostly just affects the order, doesn't it? And like do you know what I mean? Like I kept saying this and, and I'm sure Ducky or Mull or somebody got offended, but um you know Of course Inarian and Mull and Ducky are all great coaches, but I think mostly it's um the order is going to be decided a lot by luck and grinding, isn't it? You know? <laughs> what else in the rain are Nurgle's worst matchup, though, aren't they? At low TV, Shawnee. Different, different when you've got three Mighty Blow Tackle. But when you've got when you've got like one block, <laughs> Wood Elves are not not so exciting to face. Right, this guy still safe from him. Safe. <laughs> Good old soft concede after winning, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah, and it was that shit cunt of a beast exactly, I don't know, Kelly's. It was the beast that lost it as well. If that beast hadn't gone stupid that turn, would have won the game probably. It was, I think it was another game that the wizard failed, didn't it? I don't think I had a wizard that game. I don't know if he had a blitz or not. I think, I think he got a blitz. <laughs> it's just banter though, isn't it? It is just banter. It is just banter. It's just banter. Nuffle's the real cunt, isn't he? Not you. Your opponent isn't isn't a cunt for getting lucky. He's just lucky, isn't he? It's just natural to call them. It's just call. It's just natural to call them a lucky cunt, isn't it? And stuff and like call them cunts when you don't really mean that you hate them or they're a cunt or anything. It's just it's just banter.
Yeah, it's it's outrageous, KLZ. It's outrageous. If I get drawn against Mold Moldripster, I'm just gonna play shit on purpose. And hope. Hope it works out. So he's going to GFI to there, which means he can come here. Me GFI, one, two, three, four, GFI, oh god, right, so I've got to go here. Then. Interesting strategy card, and let's see if it pays off. Double GFI. Alright, double GFI. Fucking god. You can't hit anybody with claw palm. There you go, look, Mo getting a little bit, getting a little bit, um, getting a little bit. I'm not disrespecting you, Mo Dripster. I'm just saying, yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit random. Yeah, I think it's, I think, I think it is. And I think it's random who wins as well, you know? Like, Ducky won the first two, but if he, if, if, you know, what, did you 1 in 36 not score against him or something? And, you know, it's just stuff like that, isn't it? God, this cunt, can he, can he be reached here? Like, if... If, um, or whoever won the, did Ducky win the overtime toss? So if Mull had won the overtime toss, Mull probably wins or whatever. You know what I mean? Like that sort of thing. I don't think even, you know, oh, I shouldn't have moved forward, should I? That was a bit dumb. Yeah, I'm just saying finishing top or top three of the qualifying doesn't prove that you're one of the top three coaches. That's all I'm saying. But it, it proves that you're really good, obviously. No? I don't know. It is what it is. It is what it is. Thank you for the follow. Um, right. Oh God, 21 for the Wrestle Fender. I'll block, I'll, I mean, look, to be fair, he did have more TV on the pitch than I did. I only made 19 blocks. <laughs> he outblocked me 40 to 19. That's crazy. And yeah, I made more cars than him, so... I guess overall I wasn't that unlucky, was he? He was greed rerolling things. But I don't know, I had those fouls, I thought. It felt unlucky at first. Oh, man! Oh, no! I'm so unlucky! I'm so unlucky! Oh, fuck! <laughs> 
I guess I've got to take strength, haven't I? No claw for me. I've, I have to take strength, don't I? Man. Yeah, that's my point, Adon Nikelis. Exactly my point, Adon Nikelis. Yeah, you know, look, they're both 32-2, and if they played one more game against Muldrif's Rodducky, it would be different, wouldn't it? The control game is real. <laughs> Feels lizard man, yeah. Yeah, I could I could actually have a beast now, couldn't I? Just to just to push the strength aspect. <laughs> Tentacles on everyone. Oh man. It's really hard to say no to it. It's really fucking hard to say no to it. But it's probably just not as good as Claw. That's the stupid thing. That's that's how good Claw is. It's probably not as good as Claw. Man, that's a tough. Follow your heart. Yeah, yeah. Strength and claw. Strength and claw, and he's still really good, isn't he? Block, mighty blow, claw, tackle. It, with a mighty blown tackle, strength falls amazing because he gets three dices against stink skinks or whatever by himself. And then, yeah, obviously the more strength four is better. And then, so he goes, he just goes strength four, and then he tries to score as many as possible. Really try to force as many touchdowns on him as possible in the coming ga games to get mighty blow claw piling on. I just can't not take, I just can't not take strength, can I? I just can't not. I just can't not take the plus strength. I really, I really just can't not take it. Hey, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. I was too busy blocking out the haters. <laughs> oh my god, that's really funny. Um, yeah, plus strength would have been super nice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh man, I couldn't go strength. Five. He'd have to take claw over strength five. I'm probably gonna go strength, but um, anyway, what a record! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.